This video is brought to you by our friends at Squarespace. Hi, welcome back. I'm Allison. This is Wonder Crochet. As you know, I have a ton of works in progress. That's really just because I've been crocheting for about four years now, and the works in progress are just random things from all four years. So whether I started designing something and just never finished it, or if I was working on something but then decided to move on to something else, I really just go where my brain leads me in terms of crochet and projects and pattern designing. So that really makes for some gunk. And if you've watched my other whip videos, you've seen this bin, and it really hasn't gone down much, maybe a little bit, but even some of this stuff, I don't know what it was meant to be. <laughs> like this, I don't know what it was meant to be, but I could make something out of it. Um, but I just have pieces of projects, like this is a dinosaur, this is a flower, and then I even have projects in worsted weight yarn, so you know that they're from many years ago. This was going to be, I think, Charizard from Pokemon, and I used to make a lot of Animal Crossing plushies, that's kind of how I started out. And this was going to be Celeste the Owl. And I actually think I have two in here. I do. I have two. <laughs> I should finish these and sell them. But I don't know if people would still be interested in Animal Crossing plushies. Because, you know, they haven't made any updates in years. There's the start to a hippo as well. And also, a lot of these projects I used a different size hook than I use now. So when I started crocheting with plushy chenille yarn, I started with a seven millimeter hook. And that's because my tension was so tight because I was just uncomfortable working with it. And now I work with anywhere from a four to a five millimeter hook. So it's a big difference. So we are going to pull projects from my whip jar that I created in one of my other videos I'll show you. So here is my whip jar. I haven't updated it since the last video so I'm going to add a few more things in. So basically I went through my whip bin here in a previous video and wrote down all of the projects that I have in here and I need to add a few more of them and also remove some because I did complete them and I'll tell you which ones I've completed since last time. But I am going to just randomly pull and we are going to finish these works in progress finally. So if you are brand new here, brand new to crochet, you'd like to learn how, you know the drill. I have a full online course. I'll link that in the description. It teaches you from the very beginning how to crochet plushies, but how to crochet them well. It teaches you basic stitches, more advanced stitches, how to read crochet patterns, and much more. Okay, I went through the jar and removed the ones that I have completed, and that is the Jumbo Octopus and Pom Pom Purin, a gray kitten, and a rainbow octopus. So I did finish all four of those, so we can toss those out. See, we're making progress. And then I did add a few more things to this jar. So I went through all of these to make sure that the projects are updated. So I added Winnie the Pooh, I added a flower plush, I added a dolphin. Also, I looked in the jar, this was meant to be a pink teddy bear, so good to know. <laughs> okay. Let's pick our first project and see what we'll be finishing up. <laughs> okay, we are finishing up The Grinch. This is actually perfect timing because if you're a member of my Patreon, we get to vote on what free pattern PDF we, we want to add to the collection of free patterns, and everyone voted on The Grinch. So I've definitely made this several times, but I have one in the whip bin. Here he is, actually almost done, which is exciting. I have to do the hat and the face details, and that's it. So this one has been sitting almost done for quite a while, because I can see that with this I used probably a seven millimeter hook, maybe a six millimeter. I'm going to try making the hat with a six millimeter and I hope that it fits just because I 
can't think about working with a seven millimeter with this yarn. So the Grinch pattern is a free pattern on my blog. I also have a full tutorial for it on this channel. So if you like to follow along that way, you definitely can. So if you want to pause here, pull up the pattern, it's in the video description and make the Grinch with me. I'm going to finish this up. So let's make the hat first and then we'll make the felt details. As you know, I love adding new free patterns to my blog and I love how excited you all are anytime I release a new free pattern. So if you wanna make your own blog and your own websites, you know what I'm about to say, you should definitely check out Squarespace. We love how big of a supporter Squarespace is of this channel and it truly is one of the best platforms for entrepreneurs and creatives to succeed online. You can create a beautiful website from the ground up in no time at all with no prior web design experience. It has all the tools so you can sell physical goods, as well as digital content and services. And there's also flexible website templates. So you can get started with a professionally designed Squarespace website template where you can customize the look, update the content, and then add the features to fit your needs. So if you'd like to create your own website to sell your crochet patterns or offer free patterns, head to squarespace.com slash wondercrochet for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code wondercrochet. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And thank you to all of you for checking them out. You know how big of a fan I am of theirs. So let's get to working on our Grinch plush. Okay, so I am using a six millimeter hook I don't know what size I used for this, but we'll try six. And I'm using white, this is Hobie Honey Bunny, and I'm using red, this is Parfait Chunky Poppy. And I'm going to watch someone tree hill and make the hat, and then we'll work on the felt pieces together. There's our Grinch with his little hat. I probably did use a 7mm hook because the hat is just a little bit small, although the Grinch does have a small hat so I feel like it works. And now I am going to make the face details. So I need to make the black smile in worsted weight yarn and a little green nose and then for the eyes they'll be these yellow with the black and honestly I probably didn't finish this because I didn't feel like cutting the felt pieces out um, but it really doesn't take that long to do I think I was just being lazy at the time our little Grinch. <laughs> He's so cute and angry. <laughs> I'm very happy to have this project done and I can mark it off from the whip bin and now let's pull for one more project to work on together. Okay now that we've finished the Grinch we can throw this away and that's another project done which is very exciting. <laughs> We got Winnie the Pooh. Apparently it's a character kind of day, which I'm not mad about at all. Winnie the Pooh is another free pattern on my blog. So again, if you wanna follow along with me and make your own little Winnie the Pooh, then pause the video here, pull up that pattern, it's in the video description, and we can make it together. This is a very quick workup. I can make one of these in probably like an hour, hour and a half. And as you can see by the size, I definitely used a, I think I used a 4.5 millimeter hook. So I started making this one only about two months ago. Definitely different from the Grinch where I made that years and years ago. So let's work on Winnie the Pooh together and finish up another project from our whip bin. Yes, I need glasses now when I crochet. Not all the time, but they make my eyes feel so much better. So I just feel like I'm getting older. Although aging truly is a privilege. So I have the body done. I just need to do the head and the ears and the muzzle. And then of course the details on the face. But I am using Parfait Chunky in Cardinal and in 
Sunshine, I believe. And I will be using a 4.5 millimeter hook, so much smaller than the six millimeter from last time. It was honestly a little bit tough to work with, but we made it work. Okay, so let's put on our show and work on the head. finished the head here and what I like about this pattern is how much bigger the head is from the body. <laughs> so now I just have to make the ears and the muzzle and sew everything together. And there's our cute little Winnie the Pooh all finished. I always love these types of videos because then I get to make stuff that I really forgot that I was working on and of course clear out my whip bin a little bit. If you'd like to see a part three or four, is this part two <laughs> of this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, please look at the size difference. These are very similar patterns. So this is a 4.5 millimeter hook and this is a seven millimeter hook just the difference that it makes in the hook that you use. And you can even see that the stitches are much tighter with this one and much more loose with this one. So it's just really interesting to see. So thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And if you have a lot of whips, let me know how many you have. If you only have one or two whips, I'm very impressed. Thank you so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.